Hi YouTube friends, so I thought I would pop on back here and do a little unboxing of the mystery box that I bought from Timu. If you had watched my other haul the other day, you would see that um, I got a mystery box for makeup and I thought I would just do a separate one. So first of all, thank you for uh, watching my videos. If you are new here, welcome. And I do appreciate you taking the time to look at my videos. And if you are returning, I really do appreciate it. It does mean the world to me. But what we are here for is to pop on and have a look what's in the mystery box makeup. So let's pop on in and have a look. So this is how it comes. It is nicely, nicely packed. Oops, it is nicely packed with that. And today I thought I would do it outside because it is a beautiful winter's day. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Not that it gets too cold here, but um, it is a lovely day. So this is everything we've got in it and it is full of makeup. So let's start. Uh, you, you did see a part of it the other day in my, uh, un, my last YouTube unboxing, my YouTube Timu haul unboxing. So the first thing we pull out is an eyeshadow palette and it's a pop feel eyeshadow palette. Um, so let's see. It does come in a nice little hard plastic case. And when you open it up, you have got some eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadows. So they are very small. They are like, if I put my, as I said, if I put my thumb over it, you can't see it. But in this eyeshadow palette, we have got three. So there is this color. Let me just put that down. So these are these colors. Now, some of those colours I may not use, but some I will. And then we got another one in here. So that's pretty good. You have three in, in each. So we've got, again, this one. And this last one is probably the most one I would use. And then we've got that one. So let me go ahead and open one of these up, if I can. I didn't bring out any scissors. Let's see. There we go. So they are wrapped in plastic. It is, they are very thin, the casings. So I'll just start wrap, unwrap this. Oh, the plastic is sticking to me. So that's what it's like unwrapped. And let me have a little bit of a swatch of them. Ooh. They are very, they are very powdery. So that is this top color here. If you can see that. And let's do, let's do the dark color in the opposite corner. So that is the black. There's a couple of whites here. And the whites. I mean, they're not very pigmented, pigmented, but do one more. We'll do this. We'll do this middle color here and have a look. Yeah, they're not very pigmented, but they are. They are buildable. That's the word I was trying to use. They are buildable. So let me just put all this one back. So I'll put those back, back in there. So as I said, this one was, I think $46.66. I'll put, I'll put the price up what I paid for it. And it was in my other, my other video. So I'll just put all this away. It's so nice today. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. 
Okay, and let's see what else we got. I did bring out some some wipes as well, so we could, otherwise I'll be having swatches all over my hand. Rightio. We then did get some Pop Feel Waterproof Mascara. I'm gonna do this one. It's uh, for forty six dollars. There is quite a bit in here, and so it is pretty good. So this is the waterproof mascara, and it doesn't tell me. I'm presuming it is in black with the with what is in here. I'll just take it out. This is the little applicator it is very small if you can see that it's a tiny little applicator i shouldn't really put it on my hand because it's got to go back in there so that is the lips uh, the lipstick the mascara we also then got a velvet smoothing eyeliner pencil and it looks like it's in silver. Oh, come on out. It's not done well. Oh no, it isn't in silver, it is in black. It just has a silver case. I don't know. Mm, it's okay, it's not super, it's not super soft. The pencil's not super soft. So that's that. Hold please. Okay, sorry about that. My little girl, she um, is 16. When I say my little girl, my little girl, puppy dog, is 16 and she wanted to try and get off the lounge, but she can't jump because she is getting really old. So I had to go and take her off the lounge. So where were we? So we had done the eyeliner. And then let's see what else we got. We also got the pop feel instant eye eye instant eye lift eyebrow pencil so there it is there and let's open up these oh. i mean it's probably not the most high end makeup um and the most expensive but in a pinch it would do again you could always put it just in your purse, in your makeup bag, in your purse, and then in a pinch if you need it, it is there. So this is the little spoolie for your eyebrow pencil, and then this is the, the um, eyebrow the pencil itself so that's that doesn't tell me how and it doesn't tell me anywhere what the colors are but obviously that's just your your brown and then let's see what else so we've got this little packet And it comes in a little muslin bag. I think that's how you say it. And what is in here? Oh my God. So in here, I'll just pull it all out. Very nice. And in here we have makeup brushes. How cool are they? I'll take this one, I'll show you this one here. The little kabuki brush. It comes with a little bamboo handle and it's very soft. So all in that, we get two little kabuki brushes in different sizes. I suppose three little kabuki brushes in different sizes. And then you get your different brushes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there is eleven makeup brushes here and they do come in this cute little bag which is super cute so that's another thing you could just have a set in your travel case 
but you know what that's probably where mine's going to go just have a set in your travel case it's nice and neat i'll just get this off here oh that eyeliner is hard to get off so doesn't won't budge oh. okay and then let's see what we've got in here so far pretty impressed for the for the price of of the kit well so we do get a eyelash curler in there pretty flimsy but uh, it is all metal uh, which is good because my eyelash curler just just broke so we get the eyelash curler and you get two more of the little rubber things for your eyelash curler you then also get some of your eyebrow stencils and they've got see how many they've got in here if i can open it so you got these eyelash eyebrow stencils i did buy um a kit with the eyebrow stencil in it not very good with it it kept them moving everywhere on me so but that's the operator's fault so you get three of the eyebrow stencils to try and then and there's the other little rubber thing for your for your curler And then, and then this little thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. So I'm going to open it up. It looks like a switch, a switchblade knife, and maybe it, maybe it is. And it is, but I think it's to do your face. I have never shaved my face, and I am thinking about it. So, guys, let me know if you have uh, you shave the um, little face hairs and um and what you think of it i'm a little bit scared because i think that it's you know you always hear the the stories that you shave and then it's going to grow back uh longer and thicker so um in the comments let me know if it's worth it or not because i do notice now sometimes when i put my makeup on that i can see my little face fluff here that is a bit it's not dark but when I've got my powder on, I'm like, oh, I can really see it. So I'm wondering if I should do it. So I'll just do a little bit on my hair. Not that I've got any hairs on my hair. Um, I'll just do a little bit here. And yeah, it works. But it's cute that it's looked like a little switchblade knife. So we got that one. And then we have got some eyelashes. Especially made by hand detarily or something. I don't know. Can't read. I don't. I've never done eyelashes, so I have no idea how to do them. And I'm quite lucky because I have actually fairly long eyelashes. But these are the eyelashes, and you get you know two, four, six, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sets. So ten sets of those, and it. On the bottom of it, it says 216. Alrighty, so there's a heap of stuff. I love this. I think this is super cute. It just reminds me of a little carton of eggs. Then you get four of makeup sponges in their little in their little carton, egg carton. So I'll take that out. So you get four of the little makeup sponges. So there's four of those. And they all have different different designs. So this has the flat side. This is more of a do like a domey one with a little point. Oh, it's flat on the bottom, but a similar one to the other ones. So there's just the one with the flat side. I mean, they've all got flat bottoms except for that dark, except for this one. 
So you get four of those in the little case, which is super cute. And they come in the little egg box. That's what I think, that's what I think of when I see it. And they just lock up. We also got some hand cream fragrance rose. Fragrance is soft. Moisturising and tender hand cream. So there's that. Let's have a smell of it. It comes very well sealed. Again, for the $46, it's Yep, it smells, you can smell the rose. It smells very rosy. And then let's, mm, nice. Truck just going past on the outside. You wouldn't believe it. The amount of traffic we get here, we live on a dead end up on, on the range and the amount of traffic we get up here is amazing. It rubs in really well that's really good so yeah so this is Sador fragrance so another good thing just to throw in your handbag and then what have we got here we got another um, hand cream and it is in avocado I've never ever I've never ever seen avocado hand cream so let's have a look at this one. Can't get the lid off, sorry. Gee, this is on, this one is on really well. It's very hard to get off the little metal strip. Very, very hard. Hold, please. All right, back. Got it off. I just didn't want you to see me using my teeth because that's not very nice. So we've got that one. It is like a cleary. Got a fragrance. It actually smells very masculine, like a masculine flavour. Again, it probably doesn't help that I've already just put on a hand cream. But it seems to rub in really well. Yeah, it seems to rub in nice. And absorb. It absorbs pretty quickly. It's not oily or anything afterwards. It's just like it's rubbed and gone. All right. So let's have a look what here. So I get... So I've got six Popfield Ultra Matte Lipsticks. So let's go and have a look at these ones. And see what we see what we think. Can't complain about the packaging. They are very they are very all packaged well. So this is in LA06. I don't know if you can see that. And let's open up this one. get all that wrapping off okay that'll do so again matte lip cream and it's in a, a very dark purple and there's your doe foot not very good at showing you this and that's the purple it's a very vibrant purple So we got purple. Whoops, dropped them. Dropped it. And then Gee And the next one's in nine. LA nine. And it is a, one of the reds. Now, I love red lipstick. Red lipstick is one of my favourite lipsticks. I've always got some sort of 
read on somewhere along the line. So again, red. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I love the red, it's a very deep red. <laughs> That is, mm -hmm. I really like that. And I'm really, I really like uh, matte lipstick as well, like the matte color lipsticks. But when it comes to red, red leopard print, that's me. We have another red and it is in LA14. And it is, but it is just, I think it's a darker, it's a darker, sort of like, got packaging darker red than that one a deeper red not a darker red I should say a deeper red let me get this off oh my god come on come on never wants to work never wants to come off when you want it to okay so that's it there. Now let's put it beside the other red. Yes, it's a lot. It's a lot deeper that red. Ooh, I love the reds. I love the reds. Now we also have a bright orange, and it is in the color LA. Excuse me, LA five. So. try and make this obviously I do apologize um, to that the video the other day was super long wasn't it and I try and keep them um, short and sweet just so that I mean I understand people are really busy and um, I try and keep it nice and sh short try not to do more than 35 minutes all right so this is the orange So this would be good if you would maybe Halloween, Halloween time costume. And, um, you could use it as a costume. I suppose you could mix it with colors. Now I can't get this back on. Because I didn't get all the packaging off. Okay. So that is the orange. We've got two more of these. And this one here is like a a dark pink and it is in LA01 so how's everybody's week been so far this is my day off from work today which was is which is nice I'm just catching up on some videos and housework all those fun things you do when you work so again, this is the pink. Oh, that's a nice color as well. So there's the pink. So as I said, these would be good just to have in a separate little bag, be your travel case or in your purse on a, just on a, if you need a touch up quickly. I don't know how well they're going to wear or anything like that. Um, let's take this off. So this is another red and this is in an LA02. So it's another sort of red. And as I said, I love my reds. And there's that red there so there's your six colors so there's like three reds a dark pink a purple and an orange so that is pretty exciting okay so let's see what else we got we also got the loose face powder oh that's cute it's matte finish and enhancing radiance loose powder. Okay, so let's 
So that's how it comes. It comes in a cute little bottle with a lid, a little plastic lid. And Oops, I've taken it all off. Obviously, you don't take that off because it's got all your powder in it. Oh, you just take this off. Oh, there you go. And it has a little powder puff on the end. How good is that? That's so cute. And you know what? If you, once you used it, you could just refill it. Again, great for your travel makeup bag. My travel makeup bag's looking good. And I got a new one. Well, actually, that was my toiletry bag. So um, I don't know if you can see it, but that was just the translucent powder. And then let's see. And then they give you a perfect liquid foundation. Perfect liquid foundation. And this is in the shade F zip. F-O-0-3. And I'm not even sure if this pop feel is on, well, it must be on Timu, but it would be a good little box to get for a sampler if you wanted to try their makeup out as well. So this is the little tubey little box, and it's got SPF 15 in it, and it's perfect liquid foundation. And... Um, Does it tell me the shade? I did F0, F003. So you just take the top off. And it's got a little doe foot again. And where can I put this to try? It is rather, I shouldn't really, it is rather light. It'd be good as a concealer. Or, you know, let's see what it looks like when we blend it in. Well, when you blend it in, you can't even see it on my skin. So, as I said, that would be good as a concealer. So we've got that one. And then we've also got another three, it says lips. So I'm presuming they're a lipstick of some sort. And I love lipstick. I wear lipstick all the, well, not all the time. Obviously, I haven't got it on. I've got lip oil on today. But I wear lipstick whenever I go out anywhere. Or So I do go through my lipsticks. So let's try this. And what does it say? Nothing. It just says that this... Let's have a look, have a look, have a look. Oh, comes in like a little bullet shape packaging which is quite nice, just plain and simple. And it's an LB05 and it just says pop feel on it. <laughs> Let's do it on the other hand, I think. So this is the colour. It is like a dark burgundy. Cool. And that's what it looks like on your hand. I'm not very good at doing these swatches. So it does that. That is, as I said, LB05. And then we've got, this one's in LB03. Oh, a very bright red orange lipstick. So that's the orange. So that is the orange. So again, guys, pretty good value for money. Um, for me, even just for the makeup brushes, the sponges, and the lipstick, and like the eye the eyelash curler because as I said I needed a new one and this is in LB01 and that is in a light pink colour and that's what it looks like I'm going to try I'm going to try this on
hopefully I'm not going outside the lines because <laughs> I can't see. So that's what it looks like on my lips. <laughs> oh, such a such a do for Lise. So silly. Okay, and we got we've still got more products in here, and then we have got a photo finish smooth and blur primer. Whew, I can definitely do with a smooth and blur primer. Gee whiz. And then let's see what this looks like. I'll take it out. It doesn't. It shouldn't have a colour. That lipstick's actually quite nice. It's very moisturising. Hmm. It's very nice. And this is the Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. That's how that comes. And I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. It's just a little pump one, which is good. Except it doesn't want to work. It just needs to... Oh, here we go. That's what it looks like on just the clear consistency. Oh, it has a bit of a scent. Maybe that's the rose hand cream. But um, nice. It's very, oh, it's very silky. That's what it feels like. Oh, it's nice. Oh, very nice. Very good. I will try out these and then see if they do have the pop feel on there and get them in a bigger size if it's worth it. And lucky last, this is our lucky last one. And this is a 15 color concealer palette. So it comes in the hard little plastic. I mean, the plastic's not, it's cheap plastic, but hey, it's still a plastic container to, to protect it. And there is your concealer, all your concealers there. That looks great. Let's have a look at them. The pink is very bright. I actually would probably use the pink as a blush, maybe. Let me try and get it off. Is there only one in there? Yep, there's only one lot in there. Sorry, I can't get the plastic off. Okay. So let's have a bit of a... So the concealers, let's have a look at the concealers. Can you see that? Can you see that on my finger? just put it right here you can't really see it but with my skin tone let's try one of the darker ones so I'm doing this one here yeah they're not but they're not very um, pigmented so but you could work on it but then so that's all your colors for your concealers so that's pretty good so guys that is the box that is the beauty mystery box for as i said i think 46.77 i will put the price up i think that is value for money um again Obviously, some of the stuff like the, without trying the eyeshadows and, and just swatching them, the lipsticks, I'm pretty impressed with. Um, I'm rubbing on these matte ones, these that have dried, a little bit of the red come off, but these two, they are stuck on there. And the pink, oh yeah, the orange, but the rest... Maybe I put a little bit more on there, but the rest and um, don't look like they're going to budge. Let's see. I'll just try and wipe it off, and oh, they'll be long wearing. <laughs> I'm trying to rub them off, and I'm rubbing hard. And 
Oh, yeah. They're not going to go anywhere. They are there for the long haul. And as you can see, I'm rubbing and I've still got some on there. So they are the matte lipsticks. Yeah. They'll be long wearing, so I'll let you know how they go. But that's all I have for you with the um, Makeup Mystery Box. It is well worth it. If they still are available, I will put the link down below for you to try. Now, I can't remember if I chose the colours or they just sent them. So I don't know if they, you know, they had different ones like for the muted colours, the brown colours, or not the muted, the natural colours, or if they had pinks and things like that. So I'm not quite sure. But uh, guys, thanks for taking the time to, again, watch my videos. I really appreciate it. I know I sound like a broken record, but it does mean the world to me. Um, as I've always said, I just started this video to share what my stuff that I did get from Timu because there might be something that you wanted to try out and um, you know, didn't feel like you wanted to buy it just in case it was not as good. But this is the mystery box, guys. Have a great weekend. Um, whatever you do, be safe and take care. Bye for now.